Hello everyone, welcome to episode two of Stamping 101. Now you're gonna notice today, I am stamping with what we call our photopolymer stamps. This is not our clear mount stamps, this is our photopolymer. Um, but the reason I'm, I'm using these ones is because all my stamps are at my cabin and I'm not, I will be back there, but I'm going away to Thailand. So um, these ones, you do need to have clear blocks for, they are amazing. And you can simply peel them off. You'll notice one side is smoothed. That's the side that's going to go on the block. And the other side has obviously got the impression for the stamp. Now, I tend to put my block down on something that's got um, some lines so that I can make sure I get my stamp on straight. Okay. Now, all I've got here is just a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. This is item number 100730. Um, and I don't use my thick Whisper White to stamp on. I use just my regular Whisper White. Okay, so color. I am going with uh, Stampin' Up's Classic Stampin' Pad. This is in rose red. I never use this color. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna ink up this bad boy. And uh, do you notice I'm not mashing it in? Do you notice there's no ink on my block? If you're getting ink on your blocks, you're pushing too hard. So I am just tap, tap, tapping, okay? Then all I'm gonna do is push that down there and lift, ta-da. You get a beautiful, clear stamped image. Now, I have had people in the past go, well, I bought Stampin' Up stamps, and I bought Stampin' Up ink, and I stamped my stamp, and it looks nowhere near as beautiful as yours. Reason being, if you're not using a good quality paper, it won't look the same. So there's some uh, you know, big box craft stores that I used to buy my paper from in the past because it was cheaper, um, but that is definitely not the way to go. You will not get the same results when you stamp. So there you go. And that is just stamping with our classic stamp pads. Thanks so much for joining me.